What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are back here with our connection login authentication application. Uh, in the previous videos, we've covered how to create users using uh, Firebase, using an email and a password. Uh, in the last video, we connected our app to Facebook and we allowed our users to sign in using the Facebook API. So I figured why not, let's come back, let's finish this thing up here and show how to use Twitter. Uh, this one I did not do very much um, exploring or testing beforehand. I'm just assuming that it's not going to be that difficult because the Facebook one was not. Um, so we're going to dive in here. If I have to edit out a bunch of uh, me meandering around trying to figure this thing out, I will. But let's just go and dive right into it here. Why do, why do it twice? Let's just dive right in. So here I've got a package that I looked up just before the video. It looks like something that we can use. It's got a very good rating, as you can see. Um, 94, so I always trust if it's above 90, about 95, that usually means it's a solid, a solid package. Uh, let's go ahead and copy the dependency. Go into our pubspec.yaml file, add it there. Uh, I'm going to restart my app and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, and we're back now. My my app has just finished restarting. We can go ahead and close the pubspec.yaml. We won't be needing that. Uh, let's go back here to the pub.dev website and let's continue with the installation. Um, the next thing here, it says that we need to configure the info.plist. So this is what's used by the iOS app. Go into the info.plist. We already, as you can see, there's already the Facebook stuff that we added in here last time. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tab that over. Don't know if it matters, but can never be too careful. Okay, so that's done. One of the things that it says that we, we're going to need is to create an app on Twitter. So I've already opened up um, a Twitter developer uh, tab here. So I clicked on here to open it up and there's there's a couple of tabs here that have instructions. Uh, as you can see here I've got my developer dashboard and I have got no apps. So let's go and make, let's create an app. Uh, website URL um, Let's just do that. Allow this application to be used to sign in with Twitter. Yes, that's what we want. Maybe, let's go ahead and open up Firebase here. Okay, so let's see if there's any clues here in Firebase as to what we're supposed to do because uh, we haven't yet activated the authentication with Twitter. To complete setup, add this callback URL to your Twitter app configuration. There we go. So finally, that makes some sense. Um, so this is going to be our callback URL here. And then for the website URL, I'm not sure exactly what we want there. I'm going to keep it as placeholder for the moment. Terms of service. Tell how this app will be used. Okay. Okay, that seems fine to me. Create sensitive information, create. This name is in use, try a new one or make changes to this one. Application created, okay, great. All right, let's see if we can get our app secret and our API key, perfect. Let's go ahead back to Firebase, that's the API key. Here's the app secret. Okay, save. Twitter enabled, wow, okay. Can't possibly be that easy, right? Now let's go back to the Flutter Twitter package because I saw they had some code, some test code. I'm just gonna copy it all. We'll copy this all into our code and then we'll just make changes as necessary. It seems to me the simplest. Um, I'm gonna import Twitter. 
flutter twitter.dart and then I'm just going to create a method here and then here we have our consumer key and consumer secret so let's go back to the website so let's go ahead and copy the key we should really store this as a constant that would be best practices guys instead of doing what I'm doing Okay, consumer secret. Print. Error message. Okay. Um, session dot username. Okay, so I'm just replacing these methods that they were they had in here. I'm not sure what's the deal with that because these are commented out in the Flutter Twitter.dart. Uh, we have no errors here. So I'm just going to go ahead and test it and see what we get. We've done the setup, it seems, on the, on the Firebase dashboard and in the Twitter app developer website. So let's just go ahead and use sign in Twitter. Don't have a good feeling about this, guys. Let's see what happens. Okay, we've got a crash. Let's go ahead and restart the app and just see what happens. Okay, so I just got some error when I tried to restart the app. Looks like there's something to do with the P list because it says, um, unable to read property list from file. So let's go back into our P list. Ah, and that is because what I didn't see before was that the consumer key, the consumer key is, is found in here and we need to actually put that in there. Let's go back to, we can get rid of these brackets, I think, and leave the dash, it seems. Hit save. And now I'm going to restart the app and I'll let you guys know if that worked on the other side. All right, guys, I found two problems and I'm going to correct them one by one. So the first thing is if you go back into your P list and you'll see that we've actually got two um, arrays here with the same name, CF bundle URL types. So what I'm going to do is just paste this string Twitter kit here under the existing CF bundle URL schemes along with the Facebook one that we added before. And then we can go ahead and then delete the other one. We only want there to be one total. The second thing I want us to take a look at, redirect our attention back to these callback URLs. We are again here in the uh, Flutter Twitter package on pub.dev. Um, before I was having some issues adding these URLs in our Twitter developer page. Uh, I'm not sure what the problem was. I was getting this error saying that it needs to implement HTTPS uh, and it wasn't allowing me to save. But I tried again uh, during the time when the video was paused and I was restarting the app. And that seems to have corrected the issue that we were having. So you need to have these callback URLs. Here's our Firebase one. And then here are the two, one for Android and one for iOS. And it was said in plain English here, um, that you need to have these and we couldn't I couldn't figure out a way to get them to save before in the Twitter developer dashboard but now I've got them to work and that seems to have corrected all of the errors that I was seeing before um, so that's the only thing that's changed those two things uh, changing the P list here making sure we're not having two uh, repeating the CF bundle URL types and this problem of callback URLs so I've restarted the app uh, we're gonna go ahead and click on the sign in with Twitter now and that shows the web view here exactly as we would or were expecting. So now we can go ahead here and try to log in. If we successfully get this, it should print out whatever it was that I typed in. I don't remember what I typed in anymore. Successful sign in Ryan code four. So that must be the username uh, that I used for this fake Twitter account that I created. Um, of course, now you guys can imagine, we're not going to get into it, but you can imagine now going back here and saying, 
if the result status is logged in, then navigate to another part of the app and replace the navigation so that they can only see the login screen again if they log out. So we had a little bit of uh, errors, a little bit more so maybe than the Facebook, um, but really everything we needed was contained in that in that um, package. The information was here. It was just a problem that I had adding it to the developers um, dashboard that caused us a little bit of an issue. But otherwise, uh, sign in with Twitter is is working. Um, sign in with Facebook, sign in with Twitter, and signing in with email and password. That completes the three ways to sign in that were in this design. I'm gonna take a look at signing in, authenticating using uh, thumbprints and maybe the uh, face ID next. It's not something that I'm f very familiar with, so um, that might be something that I do a little research on. But uh, there you guys have it. Uh, sign in with Facebook, Twitter, and email address. Uh, go out there and make your apps Take this code and run with it. Um, like I said, the idea of my videos is to create something like a recipe book where you can find familiar patterns, things that many programs need, like a sign-in authenticating. That is something that is extremely useful for all kinds of apps. So thanks again, guys, for spending the time with me here. I hope this was interesting and useful for you guys. I hope this helps helps you build your apps, helps you get going with those ideas that are percolating in your head. Please do hit the like or subscribe if you do like the videos. Um, that helps me get a little bit more exposure. That really motivates me to see those really positive and um, kind comments that some of you have been nice enough to leave. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate you guys, and I will see you on the next video. All right, guys. Have a good one. Bye.